Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm going to share some tips on how to make your games run smoothly at 60 FPS. But before we get started, let's be real. These tips might not work for everyone, depending on how old your device is and what it can handle. First off, let's talk about your device. It's like the stage for your gaming adventure, so it's important to know its strengths and weaknesses. Can it handle 60 FPS? That's the first thing we need to find out. Take a look at your device's specs. What model is it? What's the processor, RAM, and GPU? Knowing this stuff helps us understand what your device can handle. I use an app called DevCheck to check out my device. For example, my device has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor, which is pretty decent. My RAM is 6 gigabytes, but it's expandable to 12 gigabytes. And yeah, of course, I maxed it out. And my GPU is an Adreno 640, which is top notch. Why am I telling you all this? Because knowing what your device can handle is key. Once you know that, you can adjust your game settings accordingly. So, let's get to know our devices before we start tweaking things. Now let's dive into device optimization. Firstly, when you're gearing up for a gaming session, take a peek at how many background apps are running. If there's a bunch, close them down. It's also wise to clear up some RAM. Personally, I let my device handle this automatically most of the time, but if I'm experiencing unexpected frame drops in random places, I'll manually clear my RAM. On my device, I head to settings, then device care, and clear up the RAM. But for a more hardcore approach, there's a trick called developer options. To unlock these, head to about phone in your device settings, find build number, usually under software information, and tap it seven times. Voila! Now head back to settings, and you'll find developer options. Once there, look for don't keep activities, and toggle it on. Then, for background process limit, set it to at least two. Don't worry, these settings won't harm your device. Or maybe they will. Just kidding. Now, on to the juicy stuff. Look for Force 4X MSAA. Flip this on to reduce game resolution without sacrificing much visually. For those with powerful GPUs, head to Graphics Drivers and select the app you want to tweak, then you'll see two options, Default and System Graphics Driver. Select System Graphics to boost FPS stability. Before launching the game, always be sure to clear your cache. In your device's settings, go to App Info, then Storage, and hit Clear Cache. Why is this vital? Cache stores records of your game actions, like shooting or crouching and so on. Then while you're done with clearing cache, just go back to the app settings and select battery, then select unrestricted. This will stop your game from crashing because it will stop your device from detecting blood strike using much battery. Next up, keep your device up to date. Games nowadays are optimized for newer Android versions, so make sure your device's software is current. Also, consider using a game mode or performance optimization feature if available. Got a game mode? Turn it on. If not, try Gearup Booster. It's stable, boosts FPS, and smooths out lag caused by bad network connections. Trust me, this one actually works. Link in description and pinned comment. Now, on to game optimization, the crucial part. First things first, let me ask you this. Why are you trying to run high graphics and resolutions on a device with only 2 gigabytes of RAM? Come on, dial it down. Set your graphics to the lowest possible settings. You can keep the resolution on medium, as it doesn't strain the processor too much, but if you're still experiencing lag, drop it down too. Also, disable features like anti-aliasing and shadows. They hog processing power. Although they might not be in the game yet, but I bet they'll come with the global release. Anyway, Find the sweet spot between visual quality and performance. I'd also suggest setting your FPS to medium. I know you crave that smooth 60 FPS, but your device might struggle to maintain it, leading to annoying frame drops that make you look like you're lagging. Now, on to the more juicy part. If you're rocking a Samsung device, you're in luck. Head to the Galaxy Store and search for game plugins. Download it, then open your game booster. Every up-to-date Samsung device has Game Booster, so make sure yours is updated. Tap the three dots at the top right corner. That's how it is on my device. It might differ for you. If you don't see the dots, just go to your apps and open Game Plugins. Once inside, download Game Booster Plus. If you fancy a custom crosshair, grab Aim Assist, too. Don't worry, they're not hacks and won't get you banned. 
After downloading Game Booster Plus, open it up. You'll see two modes, Auto and Custom. Avoid Auto Mode like the plague. It can put your game into Battery Saver Mode, and that's no fun. Focus on Custom Mode. Set your graphics quality to around 6080, max out your FPS, and set performance options to focus on performance. If you're still lagging, experiment with customizing these settings until your game runs smoothly on your device. Next up, be sure to check for external factors such as your network stability or overheating. For a stable internet connection, consider using GearUp Booster. It's tested and trusted. Additionally, use cooling accessories or play in a well-ventilated area to prevent overheating. I know most devices don't have built-in cooling systems, including mine, but I use an external fan whenever I'm gaming to maintain a constant cool temperature on my device. Lastly, ensure you have at least 1 gigabyte of free storage and 2 gigabytes of RAM, at the very least, for you to run Bloodstrike smoothly. Alright legends, that wraps up our guide to achieving that buttery smooth 60 frames per second in Bloodstrike. I hope you found these tips helpful and that they'll elevate your gaming experience to the next level. Remember, it's all about understanding your device and finding the right balance between performance and visual quality. If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more epic content. Also share to that one friend that also complains of lag. Until next time, happy gaming. Spotted! Taking fire! Enemy hit! Enemy spotted!